Testimony yeah. Life Music. Come in the light. Hey, listen up, y'all. Let me give you my testimony. Let me tell you how I ran from Miami, Florida to Pensacola. And my reason for running was, is because I wasn't ready to submit to the call of God just like Jonah. <laughs> and it's not that I didn't hear God calling me. Basically, I just had my own agenda. You see, the only thing that was really on my mind was getting high and sipping liquor. Oh yeah, and let me not forget about the women that I used to chase in the clubs Your boy was only after one thing, I was never really looking for love But let me show you how God's grace is so amazing I never contracted any sexually transmitted disease When I know I was having unprotected sex on many occasions So when you see me on stage giving God all of the praise it's because I know for a fact that it wasn't luck, but it was only grace that prevented me from catching AIDS. And when I look back on my life, y'all, I can truly say that I was a selfish person and full of myself. I knew of God, and because of that, I thought that I had a relationship with Christ, but had a relationship with death. So in other words, my life was upside down like a gymnast doing somersaults. Because when I obeyed sin, I made a lot of dumb decisions in my life, so everything that happened to me in my life was pretty much my fault. But I stand before you all as a changed man, confessing that I used to be the walking dead. But I thank God for Christ, because when he paid the price, he gave life to Ted. <laughs> testimony, testimony life. All right, testimony. <laughs> Let's see if I can match it to this. I understand. It seems like I teased you. I followed you like... Double say, rain do. Mm. I even did a few things because it seemed fun. You even cheered me on like a father does his son. It didn't matter if I hurt anybody. Uh -huh. Some even said that my attitude was potty. Okay. But you supported me when I acted naughty. Amen. See? I brushed my shoulders off, headed to the party. See, I went to fights every night. Is what it seemed like. See. I didn't die, so it seemed to be all right now. Sometimes I cried, but the money kept me all right. The ladies kept me company. I had the limelight. <laughs> Jumping all up in the crowd. Mm. I had trouble hearing God, it was so loud. loud. It was a lot of people, man, it was so doubt. And whether good or bad, I was always talking about. Doubt. I thought it was cool, never drunk, I never smoked none. I had some enemies, so I carried one gun. But then again, my other homies had a shotgun. And then my other homie, yeah, he even had one. Okay. This my testimony. Christian family. It was crazy, because I'm from Miami. Six brothers and just one sister. I was in the middle. Do you see the picture? My brother on liquor. My sister ain't hanging with us. My other brother going through his own issues. And me, I'm just trying to find my way up in that picture. High school, <laughs> I'm smoking weed. High school, having sex, no HIV. It's crazy. The ending beat. <laughs> The beat from the end. <laughs> Do you see how God came redeem me? He changed me, he cleaned me. How my people see me, they be like, wrong, get changed. Have you like, it's not my ways. It's all about my father, Christ Jesus, saved my days. My route was short, <laughs> but I'm so tall. <laughs> and it's crazy because God always had my back when I would fall. Ministry, I fell off a few times. The church shook their head at me and tell them like, oh nah, oh nah, just let me in, please. I'm asking to my God. He let me back in and now I'm leading middle school. And all the kids say, hey Ron, look you cool. I'm like, nah man, that's the guy that's working in me. I'm 25 years old and I ain't got nothing. But if I do got something, it's the Holy Spirit. That's what keep me going. Do you really hear it? Do you really feel it? And I'm gone. I'm Kane Spirit. <laughs> <laughs>